nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning everybody we are getting ready to leave this Madison Head truck stop. But just take a look outside. It is raining. Yes. It is raining, that is right. Well, I guess we still have to go home, no matter what. But I would say it's better than snow. I saw a jukebox posted a poster that somebody else has posted there from South Dakota. They got some snow there somewhere. So I guess this is better than snow. That's right. So uh, let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic day. And we'll make our home tonight. I'm pretty sure of that. So let's see what kind of day we will have. I think it's going to be an awesome day because I'll get home today, right? So let's get down the road and stay tuned for that because there might be some good footage in there. Hey, I'm Henry Regina, Saskatchewan. Yes, Mr. Jukebox, we are in Regina, Saskatchewan. Yeah, that's right. And I am going to go up here to the Husky truck stop. Probably you want to go hand me a bite to eat. I'm not in a hurry or in a rush. I'm not on a rush load, so I can go and have me a bite to eat. And it's like Barkley said today on Trucker Jukebox's video, it doesn't always work to go in and have a bite to eat. You're all, sometimes you are on a tight schedule, but uh, hey, sometimes it does work and then we go have a good eating. That's right. Yeah, I wonder what kind of construction they got going on up here. I haven't seen this before. But it's about time that they start fixing this highway up here in Saskatchewan. Or in here in Regina, I meant to say. Because this part here in Regina here, it is terrible tra road up here. They in, in need to fix this for a while. Yeah. Here we go. This bridge was terrible here. Last time I think I went through here, I even mentioned that on camera. I was just bumping, bumping, bumping up and down, you know? It was horrible. Anyways, we gotta be in this left lane up here in order to make our turn here at the next light to go to that truck stop, to the Husky truck stop up here. So we will go ahead and do that unless we can't make that turn. Got everything blocked off there, so I don't know if we can actually make our turn. Doesn't really look like we can, we're probably not even allowed to make the turn here. Oh yeah, they do have a turning lane up there, yes. I thought it was just blocked off, but I guess they only have one turning lane on, they used to have two, so. No, well, that's okay. We'll still make our turn. Yep, here we go. Just gotta wait till the light changes, I guess, but... So anyways, we'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. Well guys, we left Regina a little while ago already. Well, probably two hours ago already. <laughs> yep, and we're getting closer to the Manitoba border. We only got about four and three quarter hours to go and we'll be in Steinbach, Manitoba. Yeah, so we should actually be uh, home pretty early actually, not too bad anyways. But uh, it's gotten cloudy here over the last little while. The sun is not shining through anymore. Yeah, it looks like winter type of weather. That's right. Well, I guess we'll move over. We got a four-wheeler parked here on the shoulder. Like you don't really see that much in the United States. You see that a little bit, but not too much, you know. And up here in Canada, they, people don't care where they park. Yeah, 
that's the way it goes. Yeah, we're just cruising along and enjoying the ride home. Kind of lazy today. It's been a long week, I'll be honest. It's, <laughs> it's been a long week for me. I've been on the road since uh, not this last Sunday, the Sunday before, so it's been a long trip. It really has. I'll probably have very close to 5,000 miles and by the time I get home. So that's a lot of miles. Yes, sir, Bob. But we gotta go home today and then we'll take at least two days off. Go out again on Friday, hopefully, to get ourselves a reload. The truck shows out there on the open road, even in the driveway at his house. Johnny keeps it spit shine, shining on it all the time. He wants it looking good when he goes out. But why do people laugh at him and shake their head when he pulls in the parking lot? He's just another trucker man, trying his best to fit right in, but fit or not. He drives a roll purple Peter Bilton. He don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peter Bilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man, but he don't let it get to him, he'll shout it. He drives a roll purple Peter Bilton. He don't care how people feel about it. Yeah. He'd have a green one, although he's never seen one that looks as good as what he's got right now. Black might look more manly, or red like Christmas candy might help his clearance lights and chrome stand out. Then maybe that would be enough to end the jokes about his truck from all his friends. But he'll live with the teasing, cause he ain't out for pleasing the one but him. He drives a roll purple Peter Bilt and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peter Bilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man, but he don't let it get to him, he'll shout it. He drives a roll purple Peter Bilt and he don't care how people feel about it. You know, there's a lot of truck drivers out there on the road. And just like Johnny, a purple truck is their second home. And they'll be the first to tell you, son, you better leave old Johnny alone. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peterbilt looks so good it makes them feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man, but he don't let it get to him, he'll shout it. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. Yeah, he drives a roll purple Peter. Welcome to Brandon, Manitoba. Yep, you heard me right. I am in Manitoba. And guess what? There's a Timmy's in Brandon, Manitoba. And I think I'm gonna make me a pit stop over there. Yeah, I'm feeling like having a good Timmy's cup of coffee. I haven't had a Tim Morton's cup of coffee in a long, long time. So I think it's due. I think it is due for a good Tim Hortons cup of coffee. Yeah, it's been cloudy and fall type of weather. It's been drizzling on and off. And yeah. 
So it feels like winter, so a cup of coffee sounds pretty good right now. Yep. Got this Esso truck stop here, and right there Turn beside there is a uh, Team Hortons. That's right. So let's go park this big truck and have ourselves a good Timmy's. Good Timmy's. Yeah, this is a gravel parking lot. But what can you expect from Canada? You don't get very many paved parking spots in Canada. No siri Bob. Anyways, we are ready for a coffee, so let's go in there and get a cup of coffee. Alrighty guys, we just left Brandon. We got ourselves a good Tim Horton cup of coffee. Oh yeah, that is some real good coffee. That will wake me up real good. But there's all this clothes up here and stuff like that. We uh it all feels like fall over here. A good Tim Horton cup of coffee is always good in fall and winter time, you know. That always wakes me up real good. Anyways guys, we'll be right back. We got an important caller on the line. This town might look familiar to you guys, right? I think so some of you it might look meters, familiar. Main Street, Highway 52, and then turn right 220 meters. Yeah, we are in Steinbach, Manitoba. That is correct. We always got to make the slow meters, loop. Turn right on Low Wind Boulevard East, and then approaching destination on the right side in 200 meters. Because it's really hard to make that right over there, so Penners wants us to make this loop like this and uh, get back over here. And what's really funny? Is if you look at the sign right here, it says no trucks. Well, this is the only way we can get to our yard. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I found really, really funny from our town, you know. They got a, try, a sign at both ends of this, this little road that goes right between here and the Highway 12, which is only like three quarters of a mile. On the right. And, uh, you know, they got the sign up here, no truck, right? Well. This is the only place, like I said, we can get to our yard. Well, I guess we could make an entrance on the other side there, but uh, really this is the only way you can actually get to the yard. And uh, I think what happened here is somebody ran over this fence or, or over this uh, gate. Because those posts are all beaten out of the crap out of there. And uh, Yeah, so... Now they've taken the whole gate out of there and I don't know how they claim to control this now but supposedly they have a security guard in here and that's how they take care of business I guess but alright, alright, I want to go this way too alright wow this yard looks empty look at this man wow there's almost no trailers here. Usually there's at least this side is full of trailers, right? Wow! I mean, I've never seen it this empty. That is pretty darn empty. I mean, I can park just about anywhere I want. <laughs> I think I'm just going to park right here in the middle of nowhere. That's good. Well, I guess not really. Because all the guys that actually want to go today or tomorrow probably don't have a load here. Well, I guess one guy will get my load, but, you know, I think we have like 400 trucks, or very close to 400 trucks, so a lot of them trucks must be on the road. Otherwise, this yard wouldn't be so empty. Yeah. So let's drop our trailer and then go do our paperwork. And then we're going home. Pick up the sun. And I'm thinking about going to wash the truck. So that way it's all ready to go into the shop and do my safety there and all that stuff. I don't know if I talked too much about that yet, but uh, we'll talk about it a little later. I am sitting at home in the sofa, as you can see it. Yeah, we are done for today. 
That's right. It's time to go to bed and get up early tomorrow morning. And uh, I didn't go wash the truck today. And I'm going to go wash it tomorrow morning. Yeah, I figure I could probably see a little bit better tomorrow morning. And go wash it. Take it over to the shop. Get my mechanic to look at a bunch of stuff. And get some things fixed. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I uh, just figured I'd close off the show today and put my closure in. I don't know if you guys recognize this shirt. It's a Vlogger Fair shirt. Yeah. Jukebox uh, bought it for me. And we're wearing it. Yes. Anyways, uh, that's about all we got today. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on today's vlog. And stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll have uh, something on tomorrow. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.